Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys another NHL 18 video. We are going to see what would happen if Connor McDavid was an enforcer. Now, everything stayed the same for him. All his attributes uh, are still the same, but he's an enforcer, which means he's probably going to get a lot more penalties. So, with that being said, I'm really excited to see how little points he has and see if like the penalty minutes really affect how many he gets. I don't know though. I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see. I'm very excited to find out what occurs. So let's see if we can hit. Let's go with 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it. So go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. And also, don't forget, check out the merch down in the description below. And, um,. And yeah, so basically what we're going to do is I turned off injuries just so he doesn't get hurt. But we're going to do what we usually do. We're just going to sim all the way to the trade deadline and see what occurs. And I don't think we're going to make the playoffs or anything like that. I mean, Edmonton is pretty bad in this game. I think things can only get better for them, though, because they do have a lot of, you know, promise in their team, especially with, like, Pulley RV. So, and I think their defense is really good, too, or can be good once it grows, but... Yeah, we're not looking too good right now. I don't know if that's because McDavid's in the box a lot or what, but we'll see what happens. I will see you guys once we get to the trade deadline. Wow, 8-1 against the Avs. How'd it go 2-1 and then 8-1? That's pretty crazy. Wow. All right, so we're just about to the trade deadline. I think it's just going to come up telling me that I might want to update my trade block. We're 27-30-3. We were on a little bit of a tear, a little bit of a win streak, and then it just kind of... We went back to a losing streak, and then we went back to normal. So, yeah, not a very good month. I don't know how we lose 4-3, then win 2-1, and then win 8-1 against the same team. That's a little odd to me. But unless they had a, a really bad goalie in that, that's, like, the only thing that would make any kind of sense to me. But I'm really excited to see how many penalty minutes uh, McDavid has once we get to the uh, to the deadline. Okay, so we're 28-31-3. So not very good, but uh, it looks like we can still make the playoffs. Even, wow, this division's not all that great. Not too many, like, I mean, Calgary's doing good, but, like, the other teams are just like, eh, you know what I mean? But, wow, like, Vancouver's not even having that great of a year. I'm actually surprised they're doing that good, though, in the first place. All right, so let's go to the Stats Central and see what's going on. Ottawa's fourth overall with the chance of them having an even higher pick next year. Oh, okay. I don't know if they should trade their pick, though. I'm not sure. All right, let's go. Wow, Camilleri's leading the team in points, which tells me McDavid. Let's see. No, only 13 penalty minutes, but he's only got 36 points. Now, I wonder if that is because of his, of his new role change. That might be why. But I was expecting a lot more penalty minutes. Like, Lucic... I wonder if it's because, like, discipline, maybe? Yeah, 70 discipline, 87 fighting skill, 68, 90. Maybe that's why. That might be why, actually. But I was really expecting to still see more penalty minutes. But I guess his points will be lower because of that, that, uh, that's the skill. Well, not the skill, but, like, the role he now has. So he probably plays the body more, maybe. I don't know. But I just wonder how that would affect you if you were actually playing in a game. Like, if that would really make him that much worse. I feel like we can still make the playoffs, but we have to win, like, all these games here. Nah, it's not going to happen. Never mind. Yeah, we're de we definitely did not make the playoffs. Wow, that was actually a pretty, a pretty uh, big letdown. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to, but I feel like this team will get better if you keep it the same in a few years without a doubt but I mean they have I guess the goaltending's not that great I thought they have Talbot I thought he was a good goalie unless he's hurt oh wait I guess he was just yeah he was their goalie yeah he, and he didn't have a bad year either he actually had a pretty good year so that surprises me that they did that bad I guess Montoya wasn't a big help and thank you Vegas fan for the kind words buddy appreciate it all right so now that this sim is over, let's go ahead. I just want to see how long have I been recording for. Nine minutes, okay. I just want to see 
uh, the play. Wow, we didn't even get to 60. So McDavid only had 50 points, but only 13 penalty minutes. Wow. But I know he does. A, I I think this really has to do with the enforcer role that we gave, gave him, because I don't think I've ever seen him have this let this little points in a simulation or even in just a franchise mode in general. I don't think I've seen him. I think maybe like 70 was like the lowest I've seen him get. Maybe high 60s, but 50 is just and just 50 even is really low for him. You know what I mean? I mean the second line almost did better. You know what I mean? Well, Drysidle was the best on the team. And thank you. I don't know what just happened. Thank you for the cheer, Wild Monkey. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, my man. Um, but yeah, this was a uh, this was definitely interesting. I definitely enjoyed this uh, this what if video. But uh, I, yeah, I was I was kind of expecting this many points, but I was expecting a lot more penalty minutes, without a doubt. But I mean, even Drysidle had more. But I guess he's got better fighting skill and. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. It's, it's tough. But oh well, it is what it is. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys have any challenge ideas or what if ideas, make sure to leave them down below because you never know. Your idea could be used in a challenge on the channel. Don't forget to stick around and check out the other videos that I have on the channel. There's NHL challenges. There's also... um. There's my Great Britain franchise that I just started that seems to be a pretty big hit right now. We have an expansion franchise, be a pro, so be sure to check those videos out. And um, yeah, feel free to stick around. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and join the Dorsal family. Thank you all so much for watching, and those of you on Twitch, thank you for streaming with me. As always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.